the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Good morning. Let us pause now and call to mind our sins and ask God for forgiveness. You raise the dead to life in your spirit, Lord have mercy. Lord. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. Lord. You intercede for us at the right hand of your Father, Lord have mercy. Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who governs all things, both in heaven and on earth, Mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. the letter to the Hebrews. Jesus is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercessions for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heaven. He has no need as did the high priest, to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sin and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priest, but the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The main point of what has been said is this. We have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle that the God, not man, set up. Now every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Thus, the necessity for this one also to have something to offer. If then he was on earth, he would not be a priest, since, those, since there are those who offer gifts according to the law. They worship in a copy and shadow of the heavenly sanctuary. As Moses was warned, when he was about to erect the tabernacle. For God says, see that you make everything according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. Now he has obtained so much more excellent a ministry as he is mediator of a better covenant enacted on better promises. The word of the Lord. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me to do your will. Oh, my God is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assemblies. I did not restrain my lips as you, O oh Lord, know. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. May all who seek you exalt and be glad in you. And may those who love your salvation say ever, the Lord be glorified. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Alleluia, 
Alleluia. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus withdrew to the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Mydudium, and from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so they would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. So you are the Son of God. We hear that proclaimed today by the demons uh, that Jesus cast out. And it's early in Jesus' ministry, and, and he has proved himself to be a great miracle worker. He has, you know, he has cured people of all kinds of diseases, withered hands, fevers. He has cast out demons. And as a result, as you would guess, you see a large crowd following Jesus. The, Mark, the evangelist Mark is concerned about that. Because those miracles and that casting out of demons is not what is great about Jesus. The next time we hear, you are the son of God, it's out of the centurion's mouth when Jesus dies on the cross. Because for Mark, that's Jesus' greatest work. That's his greatest miracle. His sacrificial death on the cross that truly cures us and heals us of sin and its ultimate consequence, death. No matter what our ailments are, no matter what we like to be cured of, the greatest disease that all of us have is evil working in us, is our sin. And that's what Jesus has truly come to cure us of, our sin. Those things that hold us back from being the people God created us to be. And so for Mark, the true medicine of immortality is the cross. And all those other cures and all those other um, exorcisms are simply a sign of what Jesus does in his sacrificial death. So today I think the challenge of the gospel is to make sure that we're following the right Christ. To make sure that we are friends with the Christ who has come to heal us to heal us of those things that hold us back from being the children that God has created us to be, to cure us of all those things that wrap us in sin. So today as we come to celebrate what God has done for us in Christ Jesus, let us pray that we truly allow him to heal us at the deepest fiber of our beings and those things that lead us to actions that are less than what we are called to be. Let us bring our petitions to the mercy of our God. For the universal church, may the Lord hear, help us grow in our witness to the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear For government leaders, may God inspire them to take, in taking special care of the poor and downtrodden. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have experienced violence or trauma in their lives, may God bless them with peace and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all members of this community of worship, may the Lord increase our faith and commitment to the gospel. 
Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may the Lord in his mercy bring them into his eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. For Maria Yapper, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray for today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Joe Henry's, whose funeral's mass will be to celebrate this morning for the repose of his soul, we pray. We pray all these things with confidence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. <laughs> Lord, grant that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. We pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ Jesus. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, May our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Pour upon, us, pour upon us, O Lord, the spirit of your love. And in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this heavenly bread, one in mind and heart. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen. We have a funeral coming in at 10 o'clock, so we have a pretty quick turnaround in the church, just so you know. Have a good day.